Hello? Right, Paul. Hi. All right. So, can I help you? Can you just give us your reaction to the sad news today? Yeah. Um, I'm very sad, devastated. Uh, we've known he's been ill for a long time. And um, just very sad to hear that uh, he's, he's passed on. I've spoken to Olivia, and it, um, she's been very strong. She, uh, and I'd like to ask people maybe to be very kind to her and Danny at this time, uh, George's son. He's a lovely man. I love him dearly. I grew up with him, and I like to remember all the great times we had together in Liverpool and with the Beatles, and uh, ever since, really, to say I'm very sad for him and his family and for all of us. A fantastic guy, Lovely. man. Great sense of humor. I was lucky enough to see him a couple of weeks ago, and he was still laughing and joking. Um, very brave man. And uh, I'm just privileged to have known him. And I love him like he's my brother. It was a very sad day for me and for a lot of other people. But um, I think he would have wanted us, uh, you know, to get on and be loving and remember him as the great man he was. You say you've spoken to the family. How are they? How are they taking it? They're, they're uh, you know, devastated like we all are. Um, but they're very strong. And um, Olivia has her son, Danny, who's a really great guy and is being very strong and very supportive in this situation. So, uh, you know, it's in a way, it's uh, probably a blessed release. George has been through a lot of problems recently. And uh, I understand the end was very peaceful, so that's a blessing. What do you think he'll be remembered for the most, you know, what's his finest moments? George, I think uh, his music will live on forever, and uh, his personality. He's uh, a very strong, loving man, but he didn't suffer fools gladly, as anyone who knew him will know. And uh, he's a great man, I think he'll be remembered as a, a great man in his own right. When was the last time you saw him and spoke to him? Saw him a couple of weeks ago, yeah. And how was he then? What was his he was quite ill, you know, obviously, but uh, as I say, we were laughing and joking, just like nothing was going on, you know. He's, he's always been a very brave guy, and I was impressed by his strength. Um, but I kind of knew he'd be like that, because that's how he always was, you know. Beautiful man. Is it particularly emotional for you, you know, given your own personal experiences? Yeah, of course. Well, it, it's, a, it's very emotional for anyone who loses somebody. And if you've known uh, someone as long as I've known George, I mean, we were school friends together, you know, and uh, we joined the Beatles together and went through all of that together, you know. So it's, it's a very sad day. Um, but I understand, as I say, he went peacefully. And so that's a, that's a blessing. And uh, I just prefer to now think of all the great times we had together. He's a really lovely guy and remember him with uh, all the warmth that I think he would have liked to have been remembered by. How will you personally be sort of remembering him and paying tribute? Um, just personally, just in my own heart. Um, I love him, you know, he's like a baby brother to me. So I'll just keep quiet now and uh, just remember him. I say, you know, we we're obviously talking about him already and I'm remembering some very silly stories. We had some great times together, you know. So that's how I'll choose to remember him. Are there any that you'd like to share with us? Any particularly funny ones that you've No, they're of personal for me. You know, in time I may get around to telling them, but today is not the day for that. Of course. Thank you very much. Okay. Indeed. Thanks a lot, everyone. That's great. Thank See you very much. Thank you. The last weeks of George's life, he was in Switzerland, and I went to see him. And he was very ill, and he, you know, he could only lay down. Um, and while he was being ill, and I'd come to see him, I was going to uh, Boston because my daughter had a brain tumor, and I said, "Well, you know, I've got to go. I've got to go to Boston." And he goes. <laughs> It was the last words I heard him say, actually. And he said, uh, do you want me to come with you? <laughs> and, oh, God. 
So, you know, that's the incredible side of George. God, it's like Barbara fucking Walters here, isn't it? <laughs> you know? Here comes the sun, and I say it's all.